it's something before 5 p.m. at the evening and we are heading to our favorite restaurant it is the Xinjiang restaurant it's the minority called Urgois they are living in the northwest of the China and if you like to know something about them just google it you can see I have already my haircut on so here's the story before we arrive to the restaurant time to cut the hair it's too long after I entered I saw there is something change different furniture and I could not recognize any face of the staff and no, I don't have Alzheimer. Actually, this was the last footage and after that I stopped to film because I asked them if I can make some footage, how they cut my hair, how they wash my hair and they were not very happy about it, so I stopped to film. Because the previous staff or the previous owner, uh, uh, they didn't have any problems because uh, we are going there more than two years uh, let's say every month me uh, my wife and also our son there is a new stuff which they do not know us so I can fully understand it but the key point is that such a quick and dynamic change uh, happens only in China nowhere in the world you can see such a quick change because I was there last month one month later a change it's like with one finger snap there is a big change who is actually famous with this finger snap? It doesn't matter, let's continue. So you could hear the story. So we are almost here at the front of the restaurant. So let's go inside and have a look. we are very early in the restaurant it's uh, let's say quarter after five five o'clock and the restaurant it's empty Uruguays are just famous to making the different kind of lambs and we are big fans of the lamb meat So these are the leftovers, but usually we order yeah. every time too much okay. and we will not keep it like a leftover, we will uh, let package it and take home. So we just left the restaurant, we are full and now we are heading home. We will walk around maybe 30 or 40 minutes because it was too much food. <laughs> Thank you. 